Welcome, in front of me is a Techno Spark 20C and today I will show you how we can enable power saving mode on this phone. So to get started, uh, you want to pull down your notifications by swiping down from the top of the screen and then swipe down once again to extend the list of toggles. Somewhere here we should have a power saving mode, hopefully, or not. So let's click right here on these three dots and we're going to select edit shortcut switch and <clears throat> below we have ultra power saving mode. I, I am going to add this just so I can showcase how this looks like though this isn't probably what you are looking for. It is a power saving mode of sorts though this one is significantly more egregious uh, and limiting uh, compared to the traditional ones. So enabling that I'm going to select enable ultra power saver uh, enable. And in a second, you will see what changes this will force onto the device. So there we go, that's our home screen. We have two applications. Uh, we can add more in, in the settings that we had open for a brief moment. Apart from that, we also have the Wi-Fi section, mobile data, and location. And time, along with the exit button right at the top. So I'm gonna utilize that right now, just because it, the display gets really dim. So there is also a traditional power saving mode in the settings, though it's not convenient because we can't have it accessible in here. So I'm um, going to navigate to battery settings. So let's just search for battery. We have battery saver right here. We can enable it. And as you can see, it turns the inlay of the battery a uh, different color to significant uh, to show you that it is running right now. Now, with that being said, there is probably one important thing that might be happening in the background, though I don't know if that is the case. Um, so if you experience that notifications are being delayed in delivery or just not delivered to you at all, uh, this is most likely to do with the actual power saving mode, trying to save power, uh, this one specifically. Um, and obviously to turn it off, you would need to search for it in the settings again and toggle it off in here, as there is no toggle for it in the actual notification tray. But with that being said, hopefully you found this very helpful and if you did, don't forget to hit like, subscribe and thanks for watching.